what's up what's up so thank you guys for coming to this channel if you don't already know me my name is koi i am the owner of array of gratitude this page is all about personal development brand development and the spiritual path of entrepreneurship um i've been doing some new things if you've been following my um tarot reading for entrepreneurs thank you thank you thank you for those that don't know i am a coach um i like to call myself a creative healer but i am one of many things right and the main thing that i do is i help solopreneurs i help wellness practitioners i help holistic healers tap into their unique creative gifts their unique creative expression so that they can simplify their work and promote their business with ease promote their business without the hindrance of self-doubt um, as a entrepreneur for a little over 10 years <laughs> oh my gosh y'all it gets so confusing sometimes right just like a spiritual journey just like life right and um when we're trying to plug in all the components you know if you're anything like a multi-passionate creator um we're trying to do all these things and a lot of times we may be in the startup phase which has multiple levels i'm going to have a video on that it's not just a startup phase and then we go um unfortunately social media sometimes tends to make us feel like it's like oh we well, i could do this and then we just got it or post or just say things and people come but it's really not like that, especially when I'm bridging the gap between personal development and brand development. There's a bridge that you cross and that bridge is your path of your spiritual journey and understanding how to speak from your authenticity, right? Now, there's a lot of people in here that sometimes they're like spirituality um, or branding. They're always saying authenticity, authenticity, but what is that? And you think that you are being authentic and you are. In that present moment right but if you aren't able to actually look a little bit deeper under the surface right someone was just telling me the other day when you lift up that hood right of a car there's engines and there's multiple parts to that now a person like me I want to know all the parts how does this car work that's what got me to do coaching and that's what brought me full circle with brand development um, y'all like it's so many different components to building a business and again when i was saying when we're in this startup phase um it's the ideas right and then how do we implement the ideas and then the most things that people struggle with is that trial and error phase because you think you got something right you think you got something that's marketable um that the public needs and wants and you do all this stuff and you just hear crickets. I was right there. <laughs> I was there for a long time. And this is why I feel confident sharing this knowledge with you and just helping other businesses heal. Your business needs to heal too, right? And this is why I love wellness practitioners and, and um, healers, right? Um, you all that are solopreneurs and when i say solopreneurs you're funding your own business that is a lot of work and that can become very burdensome when you have kids you know especially as a woman you might have a husband or whoever with your partner is and you're like babe why aren't you spending time with me because i need to make this right i need to make this money right and when I bring the spiritual sense to this, right, it's, it's talking about the lower chakras. It's talking about that root chakra where you don't feel safe. You don't feel secure. I'm banging on my desk right now because I'm passionate about this. Um, your passions are exceeding your safety sometimes. And you may be feeling like, I'm not even going to say feeling like, you may be in debt because you are working so hard on your business, you're forgetting your own needs, well-being, right? And I've seen a lot of wellness practitioners, people in the wellness industry, 
you know, when you look on social media, everything looks good. I'm one of them. But in the background of social media, it's like, where's this next check coming from? Especially if you're full time by like with your business, right? And you don't really have that secure foundation, which again is that root chakra. When you don't have that secure foundation and understanding of even money attracting, right? And how are we self-caring? How are we self-loving? How are we being authentic and confident? right? And these all have to do with your solar plexus, your sacral chakra, and your root chakra, as well as your heart. Now we can get into the other um, three chakras that I didn't say, because the main chakras that I am talking about are the seven chakras. And me personally, Koi, a ray of gratitude, I love to help um, tie that in. I like to tie that in because um, when I, I built this program, right? That helps you heal your business. And it brings a lot of components to it, right? But it also helps heal you internally. And I love to add in the chakra healing with that too, because we're working, we're building, we're developing something, right? And when I say the word developing, we're developing a brand. And just like that hood um, just like when you lift up that hood from the car, right? Um, where do all these parts go to? Are we building a new engine so we can drive on our next journey to our destination? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. We are. And there's a lot of links that go into play. So um, through my entrepreneurship journey, um, every step of the way, I needed something different, right? But I always knew that I was coming back to self. I always knew that I saw um, people's unique creative expression, even if they didn't think that they were creative. I always knew that. And um, it's, it's a way of expressing it, you know? Sometimes I've had trouble expressing things a lot of times, honestly. And um, it's just a way of expressing things, you know? Because we may just tap into the rejection moon right? And we're not really connecting with our inner child. And that in rejection wound can do a lot of damage sometimes, <laughs> especially as an entrepreneur, because we're getting the door closed left and right, right? And if you're walking this path, you need to know that you will get rejected multiple times, right? But you still have to have a strong heart. You still have to hold your head up high and you still have to be secure, rooted, and grounded in your mission. And your mission will evolve. It will change. But there's still the root factor that was seeded into your business of why you're doing what you do and why you're passionate about what you do and how you do it. And you have to express it to people on how you do it. So that's what I have here. That's what I have for you. I really hope that this message is received well to you. Um, again, check the link below. You can definitely subscribe um, to the YouTube channel. You can definitely um, listen in on the advice, um, the stories that I like to share through my own path that I've had thus far. And um, yeah, check out the website because it's all about my solopreneurs. All right, y'all. Till next time, I'm outie. Peace.